Hello everyone, and welcome to my channel. I'm your host, Tony Coleman, and today I'm going to show you how to set up the folding at home um, distributed computing client. First thing you'll need to do is go to their website, the foldingathome.org forward slash start dash folding. It'll bring you to a page like this. And there's other options um, that you can download if you got different versions of OS's. This one is detecting that I have Windows, so it automatically went here. But if you need alternatives, there's a link to go there. So I'm going to download their installer. It's only about 29.7 megabytes, so it should go pretty quick on most internet connections. Waiting for it to verify. Now it's ready to install. So hit open. Accept. Next. I agree. I do custom install, you don't really have to, but I always like knowing what the extra options are. I don't want mine to start at login, but you can do that. Um, I don't want it so I have a little more control on when it does start. That way if I'm doing other things with my virtual machine or PC, uh, I have an opportunity to get things shut down or adjusted as needed before it starts working. But anyway, um, don't want to start as a service because I, well in this case since it's a virtual machine I could, but if it was on your desktop and you wanted to use your video card to do processing work, uh, you would not want it to be as a service but I will start mine manually because I want more control over when it starts. I don't want the screensaver. So install. Right now it's basically looking to see if I already have folding at home like an older client version and it's trying to shut them down if it finds them but there isn't any so it'll just keep moving on. minimize this page since it's no longer needed. While it's installing, I'll point out some of the other links that I'll have in the comments. Um, after it's done installing, something you'll want to do uh, before even running the client um, is to get a pass key. The pass key is a unique key um, that identifies that it is your account specifically. Uh, the reason they do that is because uh, they can have more than one of the same uh, username such as uh, in my, my case I use coleslaw a lot because it, it's a nickname I was given a long time ago and it's not a common one in distributed computing however there are a few coleslaws out there uh, ironically so folding at home doesn't restrict a username to be 100% unique in itself so that's why it uses the pass key in theory you could actually uh, have multiple anonymous uh, clients running and they really don't give credit to a, spe a specific person. However, with a pass key that, that makes it unique and they give bonus points based on having a pass key. So um, if you need to base anything on points such as if you're earning cryptocurrency, there are multiple cr cryptocurrencies that you can earn through the fall system. Um, you're going to want those points. Um, if you are on a team and you're competing, those points are important because you want your team to do better, it looks better, and then you move up the ranks. But if you don't care about any of that, you can skip that altogether. But I do encourage you to get a passkey, and it's at that web address right there. It will be in the comments. So here the client is done installing. Yes, I want it to start because I want to show you. I do already have a uh, a pass key myself, so I will not be showing you the website of setting it up, but it's pretty straightforward. Okay, still launching. Or it should be. We will launch it again. I can 
can see it in the task manager now. It's down here at the bottom. It will automatically launch a web browser. This is the, basically the simple view. I'll let it load, but I'm actually going to go to the advanced view and kind of walk you through it too. Okay, so this is the simple view. Um, this is my user account, my username. I'm already on a team. Um, this virtual machine already had Folding at Home installed on it, so that's why it's already got my pass account information in there. But I'm going to close this part, and I'm going to show you the advanced. Advanced control. Okay. So when you're in the advanced control, you got various options. That's what the preferences looks like. Probably not going to mess too much in there. Configure. This is where you would put your username. Since I claim Folding Coin, um, I've got a Folding Coin address attached to my username. Uh, yours would be whatever you end up typing in when you when you decide to make your passkey. Um, however, I will make a tutorial at a later date on how to do Folding Coin. You would want to set up your Folding Coin before you actually start folding just because you're going to want that username to include the correct folding coin address. You cannot change that later. Uh, the team number, you have to know what number the team you want to join is. Part OCP is team 33. Uh, we used to be very heavy in the folding. At one time we were the number one folding team. Uh, things have kind of died down over the years uh, as Stanford has made changes and have kind of disrespected some of their users. So um, if you have registered for a passkey, this is where you would put that in. You would have to put it in again just to make sure that you did it twice. Most people just copy and paste and then they hit save. Uh, if you need a more advanced setup, such as if you're using GPUs or your graphics card, I should say, you can go into your slots tab and um, it'll show you how you've got it right now. I only have CPU in there because I only have CPU option within this virtual machine. If you needed to add more, you could hit add and it would give you choices based on some of that. But uh, yeah, that's pretty how straightforward it is. And once you're on here, you can give it, you can make it a low priority or a low power rating. Basically, it won't use your CPUs as much, medium, or if you give it full, that means it'll go full bore as long as you're not doing anything else and it will try to uh, crunch as much as possible. So you can uh, pause the work unit if you want to temporarily suspend. You can, uh, when you hit finish, all it does is it stops pulling other work um, and, and pauses any additional work when, once the current one is done. Uh, fold is basically like hitting start or play. It'll, it'll start folding again after you've had it paused or what have you. So. That's how simple it is to get started with folding at home. Uh, there are more advanced things that you can do with it, but for the general user, this is as simple as it gets. So if you have any questions about it, feel free to reach out to my team. That's what this last link is going to be for. Um, my team would be more than happy to assist you in getting started or any questions you have with it, or even if you just want to chit chat with us, we're more than happy to uh, talk to you. But uh, you can get a hold of us there, and we've got tons of resources. So if you like the video, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, like the videos and share them with your friends. It doesn't cost you anything, but it does help content providers like myself a great deal. But until next time, have a good one.